Welcome back. This is Brands of Chloe, a channel centered around books, food, personal finance, and travel. Today's video, I am making sea moss gel or Irish sea moss gel. This has been soaking for a little over nine hours. It expanded so much. So I'm gonna drain it out, take the lime out, and we'll get to the next steps. This is my first time making Irish sea moss and this will be my first time trying it too. Going to turn it into a gel. Once I make it, I will try a little bit so you guys can see my reaction and then I'll also put it in a smoothie. So I definitely did my research before trying this and I would definitely recommend you look into it or ask a medical or health professional before you try it. But from the research I saw, there was a lot of benefits so I wanted to give it a try. It is so slimy. <laughs> it expanded so much too. I'll put in clips from last night so you could see the amount that I used to start with and how I let it soak. But it expanded so, so, so much. I have my blender here and I'm just gonna get started. Since this isn't a full tutorial, like step-by-step -step of how to make it, I will include the YouTube link down in my description box of the guy I watched who made it. His video was super fun and definitely easy to learn how to do it yourself. So I would suggest checking that out. I wanted you to see what CMOS I used. This I got from Grenada Market. So I'll leave that in the description box so you can go get it if you wanna try it from them. So I'm just gonna put it all in there. So this is only for me, wow, this is a lot. <laughs> um, I wonder if I'll need to do like two batches. This is only for me and I only have a 15 and a half jar because I forgot to buy mason jars. I definitely cleaned out a salsa jar but gonna make it work. So I hope all this can fit in there. It expanded a lot. Okay. I'm just winging it with the water amount, so. We're gonna see how this goes. But blending time definitely varies on the type of blender you have. I just have a regular blender here. So I'm probably going to have to blend it for longer just so it gets like a nice smooth gel texture. Um, if you have a higher grade blender, you might not have to blend it as long as I do. Okay. I'm going to start with that amount of water and see how this goes. Okay. Let's see. And I'll put it on shred. Let's see. This thing is definitely thick. Ugh. Okay. Let's do it some more. I think 
this consistency is good, I think. I'm gonna put it in a little bit longer, just to be sure. I think I'm gonna add a tad bit more water too, even though I'm pretty sure this will not fit in my jar. Oh. This definitely looks like a better consistency. So, this is my jar. It's definitely not going to fit. Just my luck. It's so smooth. Good job, Blender. Yeah, this isn't. I have a lot left. That's not going to fit. So I'll find another jar to put this leftovers in. Wow. I did good. So I'm going to give it a taste test by itself. I think what I'm going to do, I'm gonna to try to have a smoothie every day this week. I've been kind of lazy with making some smoothies, but I'll try to have a smoothie every day and then I'll scoop a little bit in there and see if I feel anything different. <laughs> okay, so some extra I'm just going to take. Oh, you know what? It kind of looks like a pale applesauce. That's what I'm going to tell myself. <laughs> okay, it's a pale applesauce. It probably has no taste and I'm just being dramatic. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm really gonna try this one. Okay, you know what? It's actually not bad. <laughs> it's not bad at all. I definitely taste a little bit of the lime. So I soaked it overnight with lime. That's how I saw it being done before. It, it helped clean it and it helps kind of give it a subtle lime taste. Um, so that's not bad. If you've had like farina, that kind of reminds me of the texture because it's, it's thicker than applesauce. Other than that, it, it kind of doesn't have a taste. Like the lime, definitely, if there was any type of like weird taste sea moss might have had, it definitely gave it a little bit of a lime taste, so. So this is the jar I made, filled it to the brim. I need to find another jar to put the rest of it in. In the video I watched, he definitely said to store it in a glass jar, so make sure you have either a bigger glass jar than this or have two handy. Um, this is 5.5 ounces. Going to close this up. I'm going to put the rest in a different jar, wash it out and make a smoothie. Now that I tasted it by itself, it's definitely not going to change the taste of a smoothie. So it's going to be easy to incorporate daily. Comment down below if you guys have tried this before. The gel was super easy to make. Um, all you have to do is buy it, clean it, soak it overnight, blend it up, and then you have this. I believe he said it lasted up to two weeks in the fridge in a glass container. So I'm going, this is a lot for two weeks, so we'll see how this gets. Let me know down below in the comments if you want me to do an update video. If I start to feel any benefits or see any differences, I could do that too. So maybe like a one week update or a two week update. I'm definitely going to try to incorporate it into a smoothie for the next seven days. I'm going to do one smoothie a day and I can let you guys know how that goes. 
super easy to make. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Thank you, and I will see you at my next video.